Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repair. And today we're checking out a carbon fiber acoustic for less than $160. Let's check it out. Okay, we're going to do a quick unboxing here. So this is a Chinese company that sells on Amazon. And this is a half size carbon fiber guitar. And uh, for the price, it seems like a really, really, really good deal. So I'm not saying if it's too good to be true, but we'll see. Okay. So it looks like I got a little box here. It says the strap is in here. So it's kind of like a, an electronics style little box for just the strap. Uh, I guess we'll see. And yeah, so just shipped in this um, cardboard box. The bag seems fairly well padded. Let's just get this box out of the way here. Uh, first, let's just check out these accessories. This is what it came with, uh, along with the bag and the guitar, but we'll check those out in a second here. So, it looks like we've got a truss adjustment tool, an Allen key. Uh, we've got a set of extra strings. They look Okay, not the greatest quality, I don't think. Um, kind of an odd color, like a reddish brass color. And we also got a nice polishing cloth. Uh, the polishing cloth feels pretty good, actually. It feels like those fender polishing cloths. So uh, it's of decent quality, the cloth at least. And it looks like kind of like a user's manual here. Let's just see what's in this box. So, oh yeah, okay. So this is the guitar strap box that looks like an electronics box it's kind of a nice box for just the strap and uh, yeah you get this pretty decent looking pleather strap I mean it's it's a smaller strap it's got the logo on there but yeah it feels decent it doesn't feel super cheap it feels pretty good nice okay let's just put this stuff over here and then we've got our manual. Okay, here's the guitar. So the bag is decently padded. I can feel like it's it's okay padding. It doesn't feel super cheap. And then uh, the bag's got like a flap in the front with a zipper. It looks like a pouch, a big pouch in the front for what have you. And yeah, the, uh, the back has got uh, backpack straps, adjustable. It feels, um, it feels a little bit better than like a super, super cheap uh, case. It is, it's got some decent padding and it feels like it's okay quality. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. And uh, so we've got that kind of cheesecloth um, covering the guitar. And, uh, ooh, the... Uh, the bag actually has neck support too, so that's a nice feature. And you can see it's kind of got that nice, it's padded on the back, the sides, and on the top. So yeah, it's a decent case. I'm going to take the cheesecloth off of the guitar. And let's just take off the, it's nice that they have this um, fret protector too. Uh, there's just a little piece of paper, like wax type paper, that they put on to protect the fingerboard and the frets during shipping. Okay, so yeah, here it is. Um, the Enya Nova Go is what it's called. So yeah, it's uh, it's all carbon fiber. It looks like the nut is actually made of carbon fiber too, so it's like part of the neck. Um, so yeah, the fretboard material is all carbon fiber because it's just like one piece. 
Um, the frets look really good, actually. If you have a look at the frets, let's see if I can focus here. Yeah, so they're rounded over frets. Like, uh, they look like little ball bearings. And they look nice and shiny. So, first impressions on the fretwork is very nice. And, uh, interesting enough, it looks like your truss cover is actually just like, a a rubber little truss cover that fits in there. That's a really cool idea. I've never seen that before. So that's pretty neat. Um, and then the body is all carbon fiber as well. It's kind of like a matte finish. And uh, so the bridge is also carbon fiber. This whole thing is just like one piece of carbon fiber. And then the bridge pins appear to be carbon fiber as well. This looks like a bone nut, yes, or saddle rather. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got a real bone saddle. I can just kind of tell by looking at it. It doesn't look quite like plastic. I'll have to. I'll double check that later when we take it apart. But it does look like a bone nut to me or saddle to me. And then, as far as sound holes go, you've got these like three little wisps here, which is actually the company logo. Uh, this kind of looks pretty neat. And then we've got the little sound port on the side here. So this kind of acts like a monitor for the guitar player while they're playing. Um, just makes it a little easier to hear what you're playing. And yeah, everything else is just connected one big piece of carbon fiber. You've got a strap button on the end there. A strap button in like the Les Paul area. So it has, yeah, it does have like a Les Paul type shape. You've got your, your Florentine uh, cutaway there. And, yeah, as far as tuners go, they just look like standard, generic, um, overseas tuners. And this is the base model. They also have a model that has built-in effects, electronics, with a little Bluetooth speaker inside. It's kind of neat, but I was just looking for just a little travel guitar that I don't have to worry about at all. I can just kind of take it with me anywhere. So the neat thing about carbon fiber is you never have to worry about humidity or temperature because it doesn't affect the guitar. It's not like wood. So you could basically paddle a canoe with this or take it ice fishing or sit by a campfire all night and play it on the beach at 30 degrees in the morning and you're going to have no issues with uh, with your guitar. So it's, it's kind of cool in that respect, just kind of a semi-indestructible travel guitar so yeah neat um, it looks like it has a zero fret here too so you've got your nut and then you've got a zero fret and then the rest so okay let's uh, put it on the bench here and take a closer look all right it's weighing in at three pounds 9.6 ounces this is a half size guitar I'm just curious about some of the dimensions so I'm um, just gonna get some here so it looks like from the end of the headstock to the back of the body, it's about 35 inches and a bit. And uh, let's just check our scale length here. So going from the nut to the saddle, it looks like our scale length is about 23. Actually, we'll be going from the nut rather, or the zero fret really. So our scale length is 23 inches, which is kind of unique. And uh, the body, at the largest part, is about um, almost 3 inches at the body here, at the widest part. At the thinnest part up here is about 2 inches. So it goes from about 2 to 3 inches on the body. And as for width, we're looking at about, at the high, at the widest point, about a foot, so 12 inches wide. Width of the nut is 1.65, and width at the 12th is a 2.06. First fret neck depth is 0.857. And at the 12th, 0. it showed a 0. 0.9155. So I just took off the strings to check out our saddle to confirm that it is indeed a bone saddle. 
And uh, yeah, it appears to be bone. And I'll show you just in a second how you can check that out for yourself right away. Uh, another cool feature I saw is this: these are actually shipped with Diderio strings. And uh, that's nice. Um, those are quality strings to come with an instrument uh, at this price point. So that's cool as well. All right, so the easiest way to tell if um, a saddle or a nut is bone is the drop test. So it makes a very distinct noise when dropped. So I've got two saddles here. I've got the plastic and the bone, or what I think is bone. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and test that here. So here's, here's the plastic first. So it sounds kind of like uh, a brittle little piece of plastic hitting the ground. And here's a bone. So it's a lot higher pitched. So yeah, there's the plastic. There's the bone. Just sounds a little bit more high pitched and brittle sounding. Another way you can do it is uh, if you have a Dremel tool or a sander, if you sand off a little piece of this, it's gonna start to stink. Um, it's gonna smell like burnt hair. So that's a characteristic of bone. All right, here's my Dremel tool. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a corner. Yep, and uh, that indeed smells like burnt hair. So this is uh, a bone nut or a saddle. All right, so this is a neat little feature that I haven't seen before. So this is kind of a, a rubber tab that just kind of compression fits into the truss cavity. And then our truss cavity is a square hole. And you can see our truss rod resting back in there. Um, just going to use the Allen key provided to check the truss rod. Yeah, it turns nicely, so that's good. And then uh, let's have a look at our frets because I was uh, noticing how good they were right off the get go here. So yeah, they're super, they're quite well polished and um, let's just get my camera to focus here. Yeah, they're quite well polished, and you can see that the the round the edges all have been rounded, and those are just put into the neck, which is one piece with the body of carbon fiber, and uh, they look nice and shiny. They look well polished, and the fret works on the ends are very nice, and you can't even can't even feel them even a hint of them. So, and because this is carbon fiber. This will never shrink or um, change due to temperature or humidity, so you shouldn't have to worry about fret sprout ever. So that's really cool, and uh, some nice detail went into these frets. All right, now I'm just gonna quickly check the frets with the fret rocker to see if we have any high frets anywhere. All right, so yeah, we checked for high frets and uh, there was a couple small spots where the fret rocker was rocking just a little bit. Um, the action is typically higher on an acoustic guitar, so uh, having it perfect doesn't quite matter as much. Um, that being said, if we have any issues with the frets, once we get the action where we want it, I'm gonna do a fret level on it. So I'm gonna leave it for now and uh, if it becomes an issue, we will definitely address it. All right, I put the strings back on and tuned it, and we're just gonna check the setup out of the box. Um, so I don't know if I'll have a straight edge that's gonna work on the scale length. And no, so this is not gonna work. But that's okay, we can get an idea. Um, you can look at the um, how much relief is in the neck by just looking down the neck uh, at eye level. So I'm just holding this up to my eye, and I'm looking down the neck to see how much relief is in the neck. So you can tell by relief, um, if you're looking down the neck and it shows a little bit of a, a dip like that, like um, that means that your chest rod needs tightening. So when you tighten it, it'll lift up to straight, straighten the neck. And uh, if you over tighten it, it'll be humped this way. So that means that you need to loosen the neck and then the string tension will bring it down like that. So a naturally looking neck should just have a, a little bit of relief in it. So looking down it, you should be able to see a little bit of a dip going down 
um, but not like a banana or anything else like that. So just looking down the neck, I can see that this, this neck is quite straight. It's got a little bit of relief in it, which is about what you want. And uh, you can kind of check that um, by doing the, the action test at the third fret too. So if I, uh, if I go ahead and, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. I go ahead and uh, fret the third. I can see that the first fret, the string is just resting nicely against that. And there's no buzz up here because I just tried uh, a few cowboy chords in this. So the chest rod is set pretty much exactly how you want it. Um, and the action is good at the nut. So I did notice the action is a little bit high at the 12th fret. So you can see there, yeah, it's a little bit high. So at the 12th fret, we're looking at about an action of about 2.25 on the low E and about two on the high E. So that's a little bit higher than what we want. Um, everything else in this guitar is good except for that action of the 12th. I wanna lower that a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how to do that with a, you can do this with a bone saddle or a plastic saddle or any kind of material really. Um, first, I'm going to just measure about where I want that action to be. So I can tell you that it's a 2.25 I usually prefer my acoustics to be at about 1.5. So if we go into millimeters on the digital calipers, I can see that I want to go down about, about one mil, maybe a little bit more. So if I go ahead and find that so yeah about 1.26 let's say let's say 1.27 mils that's about how far I want to go down on my saddle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my saddle I'm going to mark it with a piece of uh, you can use a pen or a marker where how far you want to lower it and then I'm going to take it to my belt sander and remove that material to get the action right where I want it another cool thing about the digital calipers is uh, it's got this little depth gauge on the other side so whatever you set your calipers for, it's gonna stick out by about that much. So you can just set your saddle flush against that uh, depth gauge, and there you have the mark of that, uh, of what you're measuring on your caliper. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that at both sides, and then I'm gonna run it through the belt sander and lower it by that much, uh, levelly. So I'll show you how, how to do that. Okay, ignore the mess, but here we are in the garage. Uh, to get to the belt sander. I have my saddle marked there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the belt sander. And I'm just gonna uh, grind off the material to the until I hit my marks here. So there we are, I've uh, sanded off all that material. So let's go ahead and put it back in the guitar and see how that worked. All right, that really did improve our action a lot. So at our low E, we're looking at about 1.5 to 1.75. And at the high E, we're looking at a 1 to a 1.25. So yeah, nice low action now, a lot more in line where I want it. All right, so during the fret rocking, there was a few slightly high spots, but uh, not enough to really be concerned about. So now let's just check to make sure that there's no buzz anywhere on this guitar. Um, this is after we've done our setup on that and lowered the saddle.
right, yeah, so action's nice and low, and uh, there's no buzzing or fretting out anywhere. So, I mean, for this price point, that's uh, pretty impressive. Okay, so now we're just going to use the endoscope to have a look at the inside. And we can see in here it's all carbon fiber molded. There's our top there. And we can see our bracing. And uh, there we can see our strings. So yeah, it's all kind of uh, molded carbon fiber all put together there. It has bracing and kind of the same things you would see on an acoustic guitar. Um, I'm sure that's just so it's resonant, sort of like an acoustic, and the same properties. And yeah, there's a look at our bridge plate and our bridge pins and our strings poking through. And there's our sound hole from the inside. And yeah, everything looks good, nice and clean. Kind of just looks as expected. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of a, a sound test. So I've got my SM57 here. And I'm going to play with it uh, just pointed directly at the sound hole. So we can get an idea of how it sounds here. And I'm gonna go ahead and mute my personal lav mic here so we can just hear how it sounds. I'm just going to do a little finger picking.
Alright, so now that we've unboxed and checked out and set up and played the Enya Nova Go, what are my final thoughts on this half size travel guitar? Um, to be quite frank, it's, it's amazing for the price. Like, uh, I don't know how you can even make something for that price and put this kind of level of details into it. It's, uh, it's pretty wild what's happening in the industry these days um, and what they can put out for the price. It's, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a fully carbon fiber guitar. Uh, the fret work was really, really nice. Like the fret ends are like little ball bearings. They're super rounded and polished and they were level. There's a couple slight high spots with the fret rocker, but it, you couldn't even tell when you were playing it at all. So, I mean, I think they did a really good job there. Uh, the nut was cut really nice where uh, the zero fret works really well as, as well. You've got your bone saddle. It's very comfortable to play. Um, great weight, nice and light. Uh, plays nice and low with really low action. So really comfortable to sit in the couch and play with. Or, you know, taking this with you anywhere um, would not be an issue. I feel like you might want to upgrade your bag a bit if you are traveling. The bag's pretty good. But uh, I probably wouldn't trust it on an airplane or anything like that. So you might want to upgrade your bag or get a little case for it. But yeah, it's uh, also got the Comfort Carve here, which I didn't mention yet. So it makes it really easy to get to these upper upper frets. And uh, the sound, I mean, it's a three-quarter size guitar that's under $200. It's, it sounds quite nice for what it is. A little guitar it's not going to project as much as like a full-size dreadnought or anything like that but i mean for everything considered it sounds quite nice plays good uh yeah and i didn't notice any quality control issues with it anywhere the finish is all nice and even no weird spots um inside looked really good it's all carbon fiber molding um yeah not a lot of bad to say about this guitar, because frankly, for the price, it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> and then you get your, uh, you know, you get a nice leather strap or a pleather strap um, with it, uh, as well as a set of strings and a really nice looking polishing cloth. So yeah, I would say this is a heck of a deal if you're interested. Uh, I got this on Amazon uh, in Canada for $220. Canadian. I just checked. They're still on sale. Um, so I'm, they probably have the sale quite often. Uh, they also make another model of this with like built-in effects and a little Bluetooth speaker inside that plays the effects. Um, but this is what I wanted. I wanted just a little travel guitar that I can take out to campfires or and leave in my car over the weekend and not worry about temperature or humidity issues or never have to worry about, uh, you know, bringing it in after a fire. You can leave it outside all night because the temperature or humidity are, is not going to affect the carbon fiber. So yeah, amazing guitar for the price. Um, if you're looking for something like this, this is a, a definite buy. Uh, I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by Enya or Amazon or anything. Uh, I just uh, was looking, I was in the market for a decent travel size guitar and uh, this came on sale. I pulled the trigger and boy am I surprised with how good it is. So. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Beckler Guitars and Repair. This is going to be it for today, um, but keep tuned in. We've got more for you really soon. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.